Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for LiveScript.com. Los Angeles Lakers power forward Larry Nance Jr. works hard on the court, but off the court he deals with a chronic disease. The athlete talked with us about his Crohn's disease diagnosis while undergoing an infusion to help keep his symptoms at bay. Larry, thank you so much for sharing your story. I would love to go back and just, when did you find out that you had Crohn's disease? I found out I was a sophomore in high school, um, 16 years old, and you know was just tired all the time. Um, had all the symptoms you would have of Crohn's disease. You know, we don't have to get into that because it's not pretty, but. Um, you know, I was just not a not a healthy kid, and my parents, you know, knew something was up. Uh, took me in and took me to the Cleveland Clinic, and you know, I got I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. And you know, originally you get pretty you know pretty bummed about it. You know, that's the last thing any kid wants to hear in high school that you've got a a chronic illness. While getting an infusion at Cedar Sinai Medical Center, Nance met with the kids who are suffering from Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Now you're doing an infusion. Can you explain a little bit about what this does for you? Today's a typical infusion day. You know, you come in, you know, get get poked with a needle, draw some blood, and you know, I sit here for two and a half, three hours while while the you know while the bag you know drips and you know it. I've done it for geez, what's it, seven, eight years now. So it's um, you know I'm used to it. Um, it's seven every seven and a half weeks. So. You know, it's just part of my life now. We talked a little bit about, you know, the physical symptoms and everything, but what was your state of mind like? Because the teen years are hard enough mm -hmm. between what you go through at school and puberty. What were you like having something additional? Well, it was miserable at first. Um, you know, I had to go in, you know, every two, three weeks and sit here for three hours. Um, so that was very frustrating. But at the same time, it was like, um, a whole new world opened up. You know, I had the energy to go play basketball, to practice, to, you know, to not, to do more than just sleep when I got home. So, you know, it was, it was mixed emotions, but at the same time, it was, I was very thankful for, you know, that we had found it and gotten on top of it. It really was a game changer. Absolutely. Very much so. Yeah. It, it, it turned me from, you know, a, a very frail, sickly, you know, 16 year old to a professional athlete. What do you do now as an adult to make sure that you're at your peak fitness? You know, it, it mainly comes with with uh, my diet. You know, I we've, you know, through trial and error, we found that, you know, any kind of seed or nut, um, popcorn, some fruits just don't sit well with me. And so, um, you know, obviously I just don't eat them and, and uh, you know, can't eat you gotta eat fairly healthy, you know. No Burger King four days in a row, although I wish I could. Well, how do you keep your spirits up um, when dealing with an ongoing illness? Um, it's been it's actually been fairly easy, you know. At, once you get once you get this Crohn's disease under control, it's it's not nearly as bad as um, as some other as some other chronic illnesses can be. You know, it's it's one that once you once you control, all is just management, and you know, luckily I'm. I've got all the means and everything to, to manage mine very well. So for me, it's, 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 not that, it's not that bad anymore. But, you know, I, I'm doing this for the kids that it is tough for. You know, what do you tell those kids? Because I'm sure that they deal with bullying at school sometimes mm -hmm. or just feeling a little bit down because when you're a kid, you want to be just like everyone else. Right, exactly. And, you know, there's no better person to tell you that than somebody that's been through it. Um, you know, my, my biggest message is that it's, you know, Crohn's is not a, is not a disease that is debilitating. You know, you can, you can and you should make Crohn's, make, make your disease work around your schedule. You know, you know, do what you want to do, be what you want to be. Um, you know, take the, go to the camps you want to go to, you know, you know, be a kid and, you know, learn just to make, you know, make your illness work around your schedule. Don't, you know, don't just fall to its, you know, it's Will.